this is my new uh, 3D project that I'm making. These are called plates in a 3D printer and this is a five plate print so this is plate one of five prints but what this is is it's a wind, um, a wind simulator for my uh, simulator the car simulator that thing over there then so at home I've got one of these wind simulators and what you use is you use a little processor an Arduino Nano and you have to wire it in you need two PC motors and then you have some software on the rig these attached to the rig and then as the car if you're in a formula car open top as the car picks up speed the wind also picks up speed when you turn right the wind changes direction when you turn left the wind changes direction so I'm just filming this now this is step one this paint is almost finished 18 minutes left that's what it'll look like and then there's another one of them to print because there's one either side that's it so get this printed print the next size this is probably the 16 hours in total printing here but um yeah next project this first piece is finished now so i'll just show you makes a really nice sound as it as it pops off the plate ah satisfying so that's what you've got that's part number one could have finished on that this printer is printing the bollocks now so that's that's your first part of your weird wind sim and that well that's just a dump that's just a um, what they call a dump where it's dumping um, the waste materials out so that whole plate was that I need to print another one of them now because there's two dual so the next thing you buy is you buy two, I forget the size, I'll put the size up in, in a minute but I'm going to buy two cheap PC fans that sit in there so that bolts in there, then there's a back piece and then you duplicate that times two then there's going to be a little control box that has all the electrics in and that's it, that's how we're going to run it so we need to print let's clean this off the plate that's clear now, so I'll start printing the second the second, uh, the second one of them. That's took about three hours to print, two hours. So I just need to print another one of them, basically. There's five pieces of the kit. So that will leave. Once I'll get the other one printed off today. Leave one printing overnight. That just leaves two to print tomorrow. Then assemble all the electronics. Solder it up and that. And then I'll get it on the rig and give you a demonstration of it working. So back to my fan kit. To my uh, simulator. The fans have turned up today, which are just normal PC fans. That's how the shroud fits on them. I couldn't print the backs till I knew the width. There was no width on the listing. These are normally 25mm or 38mm. These are 25mm. So I've managed to print the backs off now. But every time I tried to print the backs, there was a little failure on the printer that I'll show you in a minute, but I've got round it. So these came by post today. There's actually two things there. Let me just show you. This I already had. This is an Arduino uh, Uno motherboard type thing, whatever the fuck you want to call it. You can see that that case that I printed, see those pins in there? Watch this, this is brilliant. This is how good this 3D printing shit is. Uh, maybe put it in the right way around. That'd be an idea. If you hunt. Okay, now what the fuck am I doing? It's so hard doing things holding the camera and then it's just you know a tripod won't pick this up and shit you you know like that you see you just want some hot glue on him now on those pins but that that's on those pins straight out of the printer fits now this is your motor stepper this is what we're gonna wire the fans up to so we're gonna cut the plugs off the fans I've just been looking at a schematic and we're going to wire them to these pins I wear glasses now let's put my glasses on so you see one B channel and one A channel so that's going to run the two the two fans so that those pins slot inside that board perfectly like a glove let's see if we can do it one handed without bending the pins
doing it blind. Oh, I've done it. Slight pressure. I'm not going to push it down too hard. I've got loads of practice of that putting uh, EEPROM chips in ECUs over the years. So, then, we've got to wire this up now. So that's what's going to be next. And I need to find myself a little 12 volt uh, supply, which I've definitely got in the back room here. And that's going to go on there. I'm going to screw that shut. So that's your module. That'll be your module once we've got it all wired up. Your power pack, that'll bolt to the rig. You plug USB in there, uh, which is going to run to the computer and get your signals from software, Sim Hub. So that'll be on the rig, and then we're going to put the fans together now. I'm just about to pull another plate off, and I'll show you what the problem's been with this plate. Let's pull it out the printer. It's just literally finished this. Let's get it into the light, move that out of the way. So you see, there's your shroud. Just fell off. That's printed nice. No fuck ups in that or anything. So you'll see, hopefully, I take it that that wire is supposed to run through there. Supposed to plug fit. Yeah, the plug fits. The plug's getting cut off in a minute anyway. Let's just test it fits. There you go. I haven't test fitted any of this off camera. I've just there you go. There's the, there's the fan assembly. Now I've got to print another one of those backs yet. Which I'm about to do now. But there you go. That's the fan assembly. Mm. I've just... That's strange. Where the fuck does that go? Not sure where this goes. But this is the bit I was having problems with. This bit here. Wasn't adhesing to the build plate proper. And you can see it's a little bit nasty compared to the rest but like uh, look normally you've got to peel them off and they're like get off look they just they're just falling off so what i did was i turned the heat of the bed up looking at a bit nasty there see that now that's not my printer that's the guy's print file that i've got this from because this was the third attempt all i did was turn the heat of this up so it stuck more and I'd slow the speed of the printer down. Now these are the brackets that's supposed to hold it to the rig. But uh, what I'm struggling to see there is how they mount to this. Oh, there you go. This one-handed shit it's no good. Right, so you see on the bottom there, they're going to mount. That's going to screw on there like that. And there you go. That's one built, and then obviously that bolts to the rig and you can move it round on it. So that's one shroud built. I'm going to get all that bolted together now because they don't need anything else. They just want bolting together. So to make them complete, start printing the other one off. I'll start to wire up this board. And then we can transfer over to the rig. And then we can program it using some mob. And then we should have a ton of wind coming at us. Well, here we go is the finished product so there's the box and inside that's the electronics that's all switched on now I've got this little switch here to turn the power on and off to it but like I've got to do some cable management I've literally just finished this you see those tabs on the edge there's a tab underneath that wiring too they're designed they're designed to bolt to this but um, inside them, you have little nuts that locate inside, spring-loaded nuts called T-nuts. I haven't got any more left. I've got to order some off Amazon or something. So when I get some of them, I'll put one there, one there, and that box will just, the face of that box will be facing me on there. Nice and neat, nice and tidy. Everything's in there. The motor stepper that I've shown you and the Arduini R3 Uno, that's in there. Uh, there's one of the fans. In fact, these ain't the fans I first shown you in the beginning of the video. These are uh, a second set I made. This is my rig at home. I'm at home. Uh, I've done. The, I've made two of these wind machines this week. This one has 38 mil fans in, so these cases are a lot thicker at the back here, uh, like 40 mil, because they house 38 mil fans. 
and these fans I've got in here are 193 cubic feet a minute of air they move so they move quite a lot of air and then this works like a diffuser inside there the, uh, and on the back the way the, the, the fins have been designed uh, it, it just smooths the airflow out makes it more concentrated as well so I've got one that side nice and neat underneath the monitors nice and neat all colour coded to the rig because the rigs are all black and red there's the other one you can run a third one on the channel here's some up I'm not using um, I'm just using my phone filming the screen for the sake of this rather than piss around spending ages editing um, a screen recording so let's just put it on wind there's the wind I've programmed this I, I won't bother showing you how you do it but I can just control it here to show you that it works obviously you can hear that you can't see that that's a hundred That's a hundred percent, and that's blowing really strong. You you wouldn't have it that strong, like I say. I only have it at five percent, but it just shows you that they work, and they're angled perfectly. The way I've set them up, you can move them backwards, forwards, up and down, and then tilt them as well. So another little project under my belt. Catch you later.